our bodies are amazing at keeping us moving, even when we face challenges like injury or disease. In ALS, for instance, symptoms might not even show up until more than half of the motor neurons have died. But our bodies have a really smart way of dealing with this and keeping us moving, even when we lose a significant number of these motor neurons. What our bodies do is it upregulates the activity of those that are still surviving. Now, one of the ways it does this is via interneurons that connect to these motor neurons and help regulate how hard they actually work. My goal is to understand what these interneurons do during ALS and how they actually influence the disease. Through my research, I've discovered two key interneuron populations that are at play. The first expresses acetylcholine and the second expresses serotonin. By knowing how these interneurons work, we can identify potential therapeutic targets and keep ALS patients moving. My name is Tyler Wells. Visit me during the poster sessions and I'd be happy to share my findings and hear your thoughts. Thank you for listening.